My name is Natalie, and today I'm going to be talking about the story behind the glass by yours truly. seventh grade, we had to write a novella, which means a shorter form of a novel, so under a hundred pages long, and that is where I absolutely fell in love with writing. And I wrote about a 60-page novella about amours and about um, animals that had powers. Kind of a Maleficent fan fiction, but not exactly. Then, the summer before my freshman year of high school, I discovered that you can make worlds out of things that you don't already know. You can create characters and people, and they may be a lot about like, like yourself, and it'll teach you things about yourself that you never discovered. And that's why I love writing. So my first real book that I ever wrote was this one. <laughs> and even though it's a couple of years old now, it still was my start of my journey to this life that I now have of writing and world building and everything that comes with it. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Now, in the story behind the glass, it follows 14 year old Forrest O'Neill, who is a pretty average and normal 14 year old boy. I mean, he was adopted at a young age and doesn't know his real family and this makes him kind of sad and he doesn't really understand, like many adopted kids, why his family would ever, you know, leave him like that and, you know, why everything in his life is the way it is. But he's quick to find out that through a magical dog with spinning eyes, like the front cover, that he is special and that he is not a normal 14 year old boy. In fact, he has powers of telepathy, just like a bunch of other kids at this place called Village. And in Village, a bunch of kids, uh, you know, his age, or a little older, or a little younger, are all telepathic and they all have these abilities but he is the only one there with other abilities and this village has been looking for a leader for a really long time now there's this animal council that really is in tune with uh, society and they've seen how the world has developed and this main dog at the beginning. Her name is Lima, and she is based after my dog. Um, she teaches Forrest that every person in that village has a collar or a animal guide, basically, uh, and that all of the kids in that village love and honor nature. That's kind of like their thing. They really love um, the outdoors and communing with know, trees and birds and animals and other, you know, things that are outside. Um, and Forrest is a big, you know, nature advocator. Anyway, uh, it turns out that he is, you know, more than a telepath, like I said. He is the leader that everybody has been waiting for. And he has also elemental magic and if you read my book which i please please do <laughs> uh he you know discovers that he is more than he ever thought he could be and in a way this leads to loneliness because even though a lot of people in his in village are like him but not exactly like him and it's hard to be the different one in the group. And it's hard to have powers when no one else seems to. It's a very lonely business. You know, that's why superheroes have all these sub-stories and 
really sad backstories. Um, and in this book, I really discovered that I love that kind of story about someone trying to find themselves, the classic bedungled Roman, which means coming of age story, of someone discovering that they have something that makes them different inside and that they want to become something better. And that's why um, a lot of my books have to deal with, you know, children that um, were, you know, my age type of things that um, have kind of a sad backstory but overcome it throughout the story and come to realize that they're even better now because of what they went through. So I really hope you will consider reading my book, The Story Behind the Glass. You can find it on Lulu, Amazon, and Barnes & Noble. Bye! Thanks!